welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to use hubspot integration with quickbooks online let's begin now the first thing you need to do is to log in using your credentials here in quickbooks if this is your first time here you might want to find a plan that's right for you and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you are all set now you also need to do the same thing in hubspot just log in using your credentials if this is your first time here click on the sign up option now once you are here on hubspot basically integrating hubspot with quickbooks online offers you several advantages because number one integration between hubspot and quickbooks online allows for seamless data flow between your crm and accounting systems and from here sales team can easily create codes invoices and sales receipt in quickbooks online directly from hubspot now streamlining the sales process and reducing the manual data entry would be really good for your team or your project or your business all right now all you have to do from hubspot is just go to the upper right corner click on the marketplace icon right here click on the app marketplace and from here all we have to do is search for the app which is gonna be quickbooks online all right now from here all you have to do is install the app and with this integration there's no need to manually transfer data between hubspot and quickbooks online reducing the risk of data entry ensuring of course that the customer and financial information is accurate and up to date across both platforms click on the install app and from here as you can see when you connect your quickbooks and you set up the sync and think sync the data the way you want just follow the on-screen instructions and by selecting connect you agree that you share your quickbooks online data with hubspot and that hubspot can share your data with quickbooks and of course if you wanted to know, get more information right here just click on continue and just follow the on-screen instructions and click on submit as you can see there's going to be a progress status bar and click on setup sync now from here just choose an object to sync click on that and click on next and that's it now from here just play around with all the settings now the next option that we are going to do is do it directly on our quickbooks online navigate to your quickbooks dashboard and just go to the apps you need to go to the uh, left side panel of your dashboard click on apps and find apps and from here all we have to do is type in hubspot all right and from here it's the same process because this integration enables a view of customer interactions and transactions sales and customer service teams can access customer financial data from quickbooks online directly with hubspot allowing for more informed conversations personalized interactions and better customer service all right now the next step is if you happen to have an account here in zapier all you have to do is just connect these apps by clicking on this button to create integrations between quickbooks online and hubspot to automate any workflow and you would have all of these endless possibilities there's going to be a new invoice and going to create new firm submissions when you click on this button right here you would be directed to the new page wherein you can rename the zap we are going to have a separate in-depth tutorial about quickbooks and hubspot but basically click on the hubspot right here and you need to choose an event say for example it it's triggered when you add a new account and just click on continue and about the hub hubspot is just choose an event as well say for example it creates or adds a contact to a specific statistic list marketing hub starter plans and above and from here all you have to do is just click on continue S follow the on-screen instructions you can sit back and relax because zapier will do all the work for you and i believe that that's a wrap for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next one